the profession, neonatologists, intensivists and stuff, are, are, are variously made up of people who adapt early to change and who adapt late to change. Um, and I think we now have evidence that, you know, hopefully we'll talk about in more detail, that using less invasive approaches, avoiding, for instance, intubation, trying to give kids uh, support by giving them breath, let's say, through their nose without having to put it in a tracheal tube in, finding better ways to give surfactant. These are things that some, in some areas we've made progress, and in others we're just on the edge of making progress and finding new developments. So I think the next five years is going to see us with new developments, um, especially with surfactant, for instance. We're now very close, I think, uh, to starting testing aerosols so that surfactant could be given by an aerosol, which means if a baby had uh, nasal cannula or, or nasal CPAP, potentially, we could give the baby the surfactant and avoid the need to intubate that baby. That would be an important advance. And I think the other thing we need to do is convince clinicians of the information and evidence that we have that says if you start with a less invasive approach, like CPAP, which most guidelines now, European, American guidelines, uh, recommend that you start with CPAP and you only use surfactant if they show signs of failure or needing rescue, that even that simple approach, uh, which is less invasive, it looks like from the information we have leads to better outcomes, but what we need is more people to adapt that approach. Mm -hmm.